know about your taste in men, Sarah, but holy Christ. <laughs> Eddie is the reason I quit seeing Joe. Aren't you happy about that? Well, yeah. I mean, I could see what you liked about Joe. Everybody liked him. But when he, you know, busted, got busted but by the feds. I mean, he was the life of the party right up until the feds came and got him. <laughs> Joe had such a great sense of humor. Yeah. He was always entertaining. But you've really lost it after the blue man. I mean, just, I don't know. Everybody liked him. Oh. He had a great sense of humor too. Yes, he was very entertaining. But after the uh, after the the uh, butcher shop got busted, that was enough for me. But not you. You went to see him in jail. Not anymore. Well, not since you took up with the balloon man. I mean, you've really lost it this time. It was love at first sight. You know that love doesn't always make sense. It usually makes more sense than that. <laughs> He made me a heart of balloons. <laughs> well, Andy talks to Susan. Oh, well, I know how much you love Susan, but she, she's gone. you got to get that through your head. He knows all things only she would know. Well, the first time I met the balloon man, he came in here with his imaginary friend, and he ordered two hot fudge sundaes, melted all over the counter, made a big mess, and I didn't even get a tip. <laughs> He's harmless. Well, Andy has an honest job. If it was honest, he wouldn't have any money. He's an artist. Oh, half the time he sits out there and makes balloons and he stinks. God knows what you see in him. I can't put it into words. It's like I found my soulmate. Oh. Oh, any business? Nah, just the two of us. Uh, We're lonely. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Thanks, Miss Lewis. Hey, Ron. You know that guy? Ask Blue Man Eddie. Sleeps outside in his van with about a thousand balloons stuck to it. I guess that's one way of keeping people from screwing it. <laughs> what else do you know? Well, he sits on the sidewalk talking to himself in the rain. I've seen people you'd never expect stopping by those balloons. I bet they're full of heroin. Or crack, but <laughs> that isn't my business. Well, that would explain it. But you know what really gives me the chills? What? The way I saw him sitting out there one day, it's like he's always been a part of the sidewalk. Yeah, first time I saw him was late at night. <coughs> and through the park <clears throat> for a guy that skipped bail. You know, Eddie? Banging his head up against a tree. Mm -hmm. I thought to myself, who the fuck is this guy? It's my job to find people, try to stay aware who's in the area. This character came out of nowhere. <laughs> and, you know, uh, that is Sarah's new boyfriend. Uh, tell me, you're kidding. Nobody can pick them like Sarah. Uh, you might want to rethink that one, dear. Haven't you ever been in love? Yeah, here and there, but never started out that crazy. What makes you so high and mighty? You're at the cameo every night. I'm there on business. business. Guys skipping bail, breaking out of jail. It's the first place they go. Shit, those ladies just trying to get by. Somewhere along the way, you could say they took a wrong turn. It doesn't make them bad. So watch out for each other. Cops ain't gonna help us down here. I didn't mean it. Those ladies are my best customers. But the girl's missing. Did you hear that? Yeah, when I got to work, everybody was talking about it. So I'm telling you, this is the best time to be hanging around the street with a clown. We don't have control over who we fall in love with, do we? Maybe you don't, Sarah. That's why you need to listen to me. Next door, they're all weirded out about your new boyfriend. I've been allowed in the camp. Ever since June disappeared, they're a little paranoid. This clown comes in acting goofier and shit in there, arguing with himself. No offense, but they've seen it all. You have to be pretty weird to get 86 from the camp. If Susan vanished into thin air, aren't you scared? She was your best friend. It's not like anyone has found her. Maybe she went on an adventure. I believe one of these days she's going to walk through that door. In my experience, that is not the way it works, on. And I'm not accusing the clown of anything, except being insane, but he can't do that. <laughs> well, <laughs> he doesn't exactly get around. His ass is always playing on the sidewalk or in that van. You don't see him the way I do. You're losing your mind. That's something I can see. <laughs> Crazy people make you question your own sanity if you let them. Yeah, I mean, you used to be the logical one here. What, what happened? You act like a member of the Manson family. Just do me a favor and be nice to Eddie. 
I am always nice to everybody, but he's not coming in here without shoes because you know that's against the health department rules. Don't worry, we have shoes in the lost and found. Mm. <laughs> well, what, what can I get you? Two pieces of pumpkin pie with ice cream. <laughs> okay, one, one for your friend? One for me, one for Barry. Okay, no ice cream for Barry. Sorry about the other day. Barry stood me up. Oh, that explains it. Um, well, he's here today? Sitting right next to me. Okay, well, no ice cream for either one of you. <clears throat> I hate to break it to you, sir, but uh, there ain't nobody there. You're wrong, dude. I don't see him. I never did either till I came here to the U and I. Oh, so you just started seeing the guy that isn't there? Yeah, he was standing there underneath the U and I cafe sign. Doesn't it bother you that we can't see him? He sees you. Does that bother you? Yeah. <laughs> well, since, since we're being honest, you need a bath. She's right. You smell like dirt, man. That's Barry. You can't see him, but you can smell him. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Barry talks to those girls. You, you mean the ones who disappeared? Are you saying you know something about that? Oh, we probably just heard about it like everybody else. Here we go. A customer picked these up off the street. For me? Yes. Those shoes came off a dead pimp. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that bartender at Bullies shot the Reverend uh, about a year ago? Oh, yeah. The Reverend wore all that jewelry and all those expensive clothes. Yeah. Picked clean before he even hit the ground. <laughs> you and I got the shoes. I can tell he was an evil fuck just by the way they feel. Well, you got that right. But we were glad he got shot. Huh? He had those shoes in every color to match all his suits. Mm. He made some money pimping, huh? Oh, that was one way he made it. And he wasted a fortune on those ugly-ass clothes. <clears throat> Tell me something, Ed. What in the hell did you do to get kicked out of the candy? I got into a fight. You wouldn't be the first. Ah, no. That might get you 84. You don't get that for the night, but not 86. I got into a big screaming match with Barry. Oh, jeez, I forgot about him. Really, Ed, fighting with the invisible man? No fucking wonder. Now, you said he talked to the missing girls. You know Sarah's best friend disappeared into thin air. Yeah, Susan, she used to work here. She told me she misses you a lot. You want the rest of the pie to go, huh? Yeah, I'll eat it outside. Uh, <clears throat> I noticed your friend never uh, touches his food. Sorry for forgetting your tip the other day. I hope this is enough. Here you go. Come on, Barry. Man, you guys are fucking nutcase. I don't care what you think. You don't know everything. Susan? Susan's gone. You know that. No, look, she's... She's standing right here. I told you she'd come back. We don't see anything. Woohoo! <laughs> 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 <laughs>